Hello guys and uh, welcome back to another part in my DIY analog synthesizer project. Now in this video I just wanted to share with you something I've managed to implement within my synthesizer which is known as frequency modulation or FM. Now what we have is we'll call this VCO1. I'm going to try and do this in a block diagram format and then just quickly explain the uh, way it's um, it's put together and if we call these X blocks the exponential converters which are the frequency control converters which takes the linear control voltage in and expresses it as an exponential um, musical frequency pitch and we have VCO3 and VCO3's exponential converter now VCO3 is the only oscillator which has a sine wave so I just kind of had an idea for uh, watching a few um, videos on FM synthesizers recently and although I own a couple as well, so I kind of have a very sort of a rough understanding of, of how it works. So what we have here is if we think of these VCOs as in FM synthesis that are called operators. And again, just to recap, these X blocks are the exponential converters which feed each each VCO. Now what I've done is basically taken a wire and a switch so we can have this on or off option and the sine wave output feeds VCO1 this sine wave output also feeds VCO2 via again a switch we can have on or off now I haven't really seen this implemented in analog synthesis but I thought I'd give this a try so what I have done is sent the sine wave out into a potentiometer that's our symbol and that's our variable wiper which we can move either way I think the value I used was about one mega ohm and it gives us a variable feedback loop so the sine wave is feeding back on the frequency is feeding back on itself and this is we could look at this as a, a very sort of basic um, FM algorithm or, or configuration basically that's how they kind of um, if you look at things like the DX100 have very about I think it has about six or eight basic algorithms that's how we can look at it and it's very interesting to get we can get very sort of very unharmonic sounds and sort of some very sort of sharp metallic timbers that we wouldn't get using the standard subtractive analog synth waves and don't forget all these again are kind of variable per per wave shape so every single wave shape will be frequency modulated so we can switch them on or off as necessary it's best at the moment I'm kind of using the triangle waves from both these VCO1 and 2 as these are the uh, waves with the least harmonic content so we get some sort of kind of a uh, very sort of interesting sounds without sort of running into this distortion and complete mess anyway I should be back with another part for this video just to give you a very very quick demonstration thank you for watching if you like this give this a thumbs up subscribe to the channel and share it and uh, yeah keep your ears and your eyes peeled I will be back for more Alright guys, take it nice and easy. Bye.